Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? <clears throat> what up? What up? Man as a respect man. Are your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right on over here, special welcome. Those of you who were there with me from the beginning of this journey and you're still here, manners and respect. On today's episode of the Jamaican cooking journey, I'll be sharing with you this so loved Jamaican breakfast recipe. It is green boiled bananas and salt mackerel or pickled mackerel. Salt mackerel and green boiled bananas. No, you can do this with other foods like dumpling. You can put with a banana, like dumpling, potato, yam, the sheen. But when you use the bananas only, it makes it a lighter breakfast. The bananas are not something that is going to like hold you down for the whole day. When you eat it with the dumpling and the yam and the starch, you know, it's still a nice, heavy, healthy breakfast if you're not going to work and so but normally if you have me home but i prefer eat it like if me have go home be, be staying home but you can have it with the bananas only for work because the bananas are just light and then we still keep you for a little time so i got i've got here my salt mackerel these are my green bananas i'm preparing breakfast for four people and i'll show you all this is like 16 ounces or a pound of salt mackerel it was being spree soaked overnight yes i did that and I woke up early and I had it bring pre-soaked again in the second water for about four hours. So I've thrown off that water, leaving this little, and I'm going to come back to wash it with a little lime. And I'm going to put it to cook, boil off a little. So pre-soaking it overnight is the best way to take out most of the salt. When you just come and you start boil it and boil it three, four times, the mackerel, remember the pickled process has already cured it. It has already cooked it half of the a part of the way so when you start to boil and a boil out three four different time 15 20 minutes each time <clears throat> sorry the mackerel is just um gonna mash out on you who likes um just um minces salt mackerel well not me no um this is a beautiful giant hand of banana so i'm gonna be using 15 bananas for a family of four so i have three I have six, I have nine, I have 12, and I have 15. And I'll just break it off right here. Younger market go sell banana, my country girl. So let's go again. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to peel it in just water. You can put your gloves on. Um, you don't know me at old school. All country girl, so I'm not put no gloves on. So we'll be moving the fingers. These are called some people say seed, but me that's a finger can look like finger, so call it whatever you want. Right here, I've got a reasonable sized pot coming on to a boil. And you need to put your bananas in boiling water. So make gonna turn it down a little because it's gonna be boiling. I have already added salt. So I'm gonna finish moving my bananas from this part here, and I'm gonna return and show you. How you go about peeling your bananas okay with my hands wet I'm gonna put a little oil any oil you have in it any little oil not a lot we do this to let the stain doesn't stick to our hands the bananas they carry stains them stain mm? so in Jamaica this is just a thing where we do you can use your gloves so I would nip here. I'm sure that already. Nip here, and then I find the seam, whether here or here. You core it on the seam, and you start peeling. And you don't want to go too deep. This one is easy. Some of them are. You have different types of green bananas, different species. Some of them bad breed. Some of them good. Some of them can't work with. Some of them just may not even know what to say about them. So my mother always with me. Debbie do not use the cutting part of the knife. 
so you want sometimes when you don't get a clean peel and you have this green part that is why sometimes when you get green bananas cook you see some black part on it some of the green leaf and when you cook the black part left but that's not a problem when dishing you can easily use your fork and remove it it's easier that way so my mother bought me bad broke so you'd use the part of the knife that you don't that doesn't cut to core off the back the these little green parts that are left and i'm gonna leave it in the water there too banana skin and banana yeah in a water just like that I'm gonna show you another one and then i'll go off camera to do the rest now if you have a jamaican husband you need to watch this video to the tea i might just tell us anyone once at mackerel and green banana okay so this one is like this you just come take out that little piece there that's it so i've done two for you so you can deal with the thing gonna get this finished now my water is coming to a boil and then when you see me next i'll have them all in the pot and i'll share with you as i go along in the rest of the video so my bananas are in and you can see them i got get them i got oxidized in other words in jamaica we said turn black so i'm gonna put um the juice of one lime and half of the lime not the whole lime in a card the, the bitter so you can just put like a half i want a, a little piece of the lime skin with the juice i've already started what may i gonna do now i'm just gonna use another piece of lime because this is the finger here my thumb finger that i use to do all remember i peel peel so i'm just gonna use it to rub this finger my hands are free from the stain that's what the oil does in you know so when you put it on the oil you can rub it in between your fingers so my hands are free from the stains so you just use this so in case your up here gets black and then i'll just go wash with my hand soap any soap whatever the soap when i do that and return so okay now my hands are clean and all dried this is the finger i use to peel the banana and as i say you can use your gloves okay you see that they are the, 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 the lime juice and you see these are little the parts that I told you you have to scrape off they will turn they will oxidize not Jamaica we said turn black now you want to personally make sure you have it and you would cook bananas on the medium you know cook it too high this part is kind of thick so me have it a certain way so we can easily well lower the flame now you want to cook um bananas in reasonable amount of water for me when you cook hard boiled food you must make sure you have your pot with enough water covering the food and as the food cooks and the water reduces hmm, the food absorbs the water that is how the food is cooked hmm? it absorbs some of the liquid so you must have enough that when it absorbs it and it's cooked there is still enough to cover the food if it so happens that you don't have enough make sure at all times you have hot water and hand to put into your pot hmm? food cook and at the end of it the food water the liquid dry out and the food on top getting all dried out never normally so nice now let's turn to our salt mackerel now i am going to wash it you can wash it with lime you cannot it's not a must because me tell myself say my mother as i told you before she now accept it if it no wash with lime i told myself boiling it is good enough because the pickled process that pickle process has already cleaned the mackerel you know when you take it out and wash off the every pickle off of it and put it for soak two times and boil it and stuff it has already cleansed the mackerel we know boil we know scrub saltfish with um with like what some people do it and if my mother was alive and she see me and i wash it she would have mad with me but you can so i'm gonna wash my mackerel now and i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna cook it off one time look at this now my bananas are cooking rapidly and see i don't have to ease the pot when you cook banana and dumpling you find that it always froth so it tells you now say add a dumpling that cause the froth not the banana when you cook dumpling only it froths so dumpling is the one that causes the froth so my bananas are there cooking away and may i watch them because they are not too much of a hard nature banana so i'm gonna wash my mackerel and return okay so my mackerel is all washed and i'm gonna put it to boil off a little more than scald may i scald a little more just a little tap more so maybe a minute a minute and a half 
when it's and after it starts to boil i let it go for about a minute and a minute and a half i do it one time only because i've soaked it so long it's only one pound so me know it's supposed to okay and it's not supposed to all that fresh family you know it's supposed to have the little pickle taste not salt to send up your pressure you know some people and them pressure but it's not supposed to be something that is too fresh that you have to end up with add salt doesn't make sense there is another version to this mackerel here it's a fresh mackerel it's not pickled that is the one i'm gonna scrub with the lime but i've never prepared it i'm gonna take me to prepare it the very you know i'm gonna take me to go into it so there's also another member to this family we call it shad it's like a fish it that one has scale you have to scale it it's also pickled and you have to scale it okay you don't boil that one you soak it soak it over a long period of time and then you try it you don't need for season it you don't need for nothing it has its own cured pickled flavor and then you it has a lot of bones though so you would soak it scale it and soak it for a long time and then you would try it and you'd fry it crispy then you put on your seasonings and all of that if you know it if all of you old time long time back then old school jamaican member shad shad and banana comment now this is my bananas they're cooking and i'm gonna turn my flame way down because when you look at my banana them you see that they are really soft i'm gonna turn my flame way down or i can at this point that is how soft my bananas are cover turn off the flame and cover them until the mackerel is ready that eat from the water there will finish the bananas not every banana that some of them you have to cook them cook them cook them like a cow food and uh, when they're done as them come out of the water them just get back tough chewy but dry and so but it is ab all about the nature the species of banana even though they're all green bananas some of them no nice they're not of a good nature so mackerel is there being cooked and bananas me turn off my flame because i know by the time i'm ready they'll be cooked in that hot water so i'm gonna go now prepare my little condiments to put my mackerel together i'm using tomatoes i have a half of um purple or red onion and i have a full rather white or yellow i'm gonna be using a small piece of this not too much bell pepper for me bell pepper has a very strong strong taste i mean i want to overpower my own a little scallion you have to flavor up the thing some garlic of course and this is a i don't know this is a sort of purple pepper it's really hot and all like that a little oil to do the the, the, the sauteing of the seasons personally some vinegar white or apple cider me can't lift out that water when you prepare mackerel that is what will take away that fishiness from the mackerel and of course a little refined black pepper but me just have the crushed one but i always up for the refined but me not have none today i'm gonna go prepare my condiments for my mackerel whilst it's being cooked and then when you see me next i'll come back and show you you have got to do a little deboning not fully but semi deboning to take out most of the bones so that when you're eating you can have it comfortable enjoying it so next clip you'll see that so my mackerel is finish cooking and I'm gonna throw off this water and I'm gonna catch some other cold water and leave it there maybe I'll run it under cold water for a little time or just put two different set of cold water what I'll be doing with that cold water is cooling it down for it to be at the stage where my hands can easily move through it as I've got to debone this mackerel so may I'll cool it down instead of all I eat and then when I come back I'm gonna show you how you try to like pre but semi not pre semi deep bone because there's no, no way you can get out all of the bones then but you don't want to have it serving with just the whole bone they must skin up and a grin up in it you want to take out uh, not all but most of the big like those big long bones cool down now and all my hands are gonna be on some people clean off this part of it i don't i'm gonna do that i've never done that so if you do that feel free to go ahead so 
you know you, these are like bones so just like how you're not try to debone your fish head but you know go get out as much as the bone as the fish head because the bones are about as small i pick my my break up my mackerel in pieces like this i don't want it minced out you know but you do you you know so when you open there and you find the bones and you want to get as much of this thing as you want you know you can throw it away because this thing is expensive bear in mind that this thing has a very high odor it's strong it smells like strong there is this center bone here that i always from a small child coming up my mother always break a piece and put two few pieces put in there and as children sometimes you would beg for the bones who remember this in a real jamaican kitchen in a real jamaican i don't know about the town one them or the country one them as a little picnic you'd have beg your mother piece and even your mom would take piece of this and eat it the bone has a nice flavor yeah and i always put a few little pieces because i know a lot of people you're serving this they would have thank you for a piece of this in it so i'm gonna do that so gonna get my bones all most of them. Some of them have some big bone. That one is not too bad, you know, not too bad. Mm -hmm. Dad, can you say good morning? Good morning. We're filming in the morning because we're making breakfast. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the part where you get the whole heap of big bone. Them. So, you want to take out this, you know, and this in there. Find a little piece of flesh. Yeah. You know? So, these are some of the bones that we're going to look for. Not going to stay here all through. I'm just showing you. Try to get out these bones. Them not look good. When time you've served the food and the olipa mackerel bone them, skid up them teeth and up in it. It's not a good um, presentation. It doesn't give a good presentation. So, okay, you see me do that? Yeah. You see how this look better? Yeah, spend a little time to do your thing. Now, up in here is where some people throw out. I'm going to throw it out. i put it in there. Feel free. Do what you want to do. going to go finish this now and come right back to you. So shoot them up that now this is my all picked up mackerel and this is what I have leave for maybe my pops them. Now this thing carries a very high odor. If you notice I don't throw it from my pot to something. I don't try to get a lot of things messed up with it. The odor is high. In Jamaica we have this soap over the ears and maybe some people know it. It's called no promotion may I do here carbolic soap it cleanses some people back in the days i don't know if people are still using it for bathing it when you bathe with it it refresh it just make you feel fresh and nice that's what it does with your hand and with everything where you use for the salt mackerel so when me i go have salt mackerel me I go fix it make sure me have carbolic soap so i'm gonna go here now and use my carbolic soap and if where you are when you watch this video okay and you have you get carbolic soap you can let me know okay i'm gonna wash my hands thoroughly and also the pipe with this carbolic soap to get out the mackerel because all who know about this thing really nice tasty dish but you have to take some pains in the cleansing so that your whole house can smell of the mackerel and you put it there but soon come back now we go put the mackerel together now and get the breakfast going so go hands all fresh and nice no salt mackerel smell so my hands have to eat again so my hands are properly clean right there onto our pot a jesse me i use but you know so she had a queen i cook up not true yeah so i'm gonna put some oil use any oil that you want to use your oil of choice and i'm putting about like that is about a quarter cup you might think it's more but do what you want to uh, this thing can't come out dry i have five pegs of garlic i smash them i'm gonna put it in there to flavor the oil for a little bit let me get a close-up of my nana them bananas. These are they. They are finished and they are in the water. Nice and all of that. So another thing. Um, I tried when I never have lime, add lime or lemon. Very rare me have lemon. Lemon too expensive for me. Um, I tried white vinegar. Yes, it keeps the bananas white and clean, but they tend to make them hard. So I'm going to really use the, um, the vinegar again. I use it and I realize what you can do. Some people, after they wash, they would wash their mackerel with the lime. And then at the top of the banana, you can cook it. I don't really like it like that for it, the, 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 the mackerel flavor of my banana. But if it is salt fish or I, you can find a small piece of salt fish, you can just rinse it off and put it with the bananas. It would make the bananas real clean and pretty, just the same. 
and maybe there are other stuff too some people might peel them and rub um citric acid but me not bother with them something if you keep it white so me not really bother with that but there are other ways too so right in here these are all my little condiments so you have you need some condiments remember it's a pound so look at what i have this is my mackerel these are my all cut up seasonings do not make your seasonings not cut them up too big not to make them too humongous because the mackerel pieces you want it to enhance the size of the mackerel pieces and remember there's something called presentation family so you don't want to cut them too big so right over here see um the garlic them i flavor up the oil we don't want them to stay right there and to get burned so now is the time to put in all of our condiments So after this video, if you watch this video to the team, and if you have reached thus far with me on this video, make sure that you have subscribed and make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Watch the videos in its entirety. Therefore, you will always be notified. If you are a person that clicks on and off through the video and doesn't watch it in its entirety, you may not get notification. Remember to press the option that says all when you subscribe and all of that. And after you watch this video, if you have never prepared this dish, then you will be able to do it because I'm doing it that you can do it in your kitchen. So, yeah. Looking real good right this one. All of them nice with their one. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna cover up this spot here. And you know Jesse, yeah. So we'll make sure one stay there. There we'll add the mackerel at in an interval. May I come back and show you when and how we add the mackerel. Oh hi, how and when I add my mackerel. So Look here, you can get ready now with a cold breakfast. So ready, banana cook and then a water. My arm um, season a fry up or cook up. Saute, no, that's not a saute for me. That's a cook up. My soon come. Now this is the interval that I'll add my mackerel. You can see that the seasoning are starting to break. Are are breaking? Are they have started breaking down? Now this is the time I add my mackerel. So my mackerel no need no cooking in it has already been cooked. And what it really needs, I'm going to get my flame down a bit. What it needs right now is to just to take the whole flavor of these seasonings. So this is where I add my mackerel. And we just want to get them all coated up in a nice cook-up seasoning. Yeah? And all of that. Properly coated up. If you have never made salt mackerel and green bananas Jamaican style, after this video, you will be sure to do. Do not forget right here about, it is a pound of mackerel, about a tablespoon of vinegar. Yeah, you can use white vinegar too and all like that. So, you are going to put your black pepper. I prefer the rich, um, but I have no refined. So, I will squeeze. I'm going to, whatever you do with this in there, you know, to make we have it tasting because this thing here, must have a spicy taste or else your stomach will go what dad upset it burns some people's stomach too so this is the oil and the vinegar vinegar making that vinaigrette down in there so make a look look at me now you want to get it all fast up flame down wow daddy smell this thing man mm -hmm. see there Ooh. So you want to let this thing be on the low for another two minutes and then stay right there just lower you see the flame shoot them up on the flame dad and let that salt mackerel that or pickled mackerel just absorb all the vinegar in. all the flavors from the seasoning that vinaigrette with the oil and the, 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 the vinegar that's a vinaigrette hmm? the oil and the vinegar and them seasoning there make it just go through them medium size look at little, little, little pieces there add a mackerel forget the tax salt mackerel tasting good when you see me next i ready this already you know dish we have dish my son come okay now family 
this is your salt mackerel gravy you see that turn it off now this is ready to be served looking all good and you know see no bag of bone bones are there but not a whole lot lot making it look really uncomfortable for eat and look you know it like it just turning up you know, like that's something you know, you have so much bone yeah and you never eat it before so you get it that it all with this whole pop one turn you off so look you're making a plate for yourself if you got long put as much as you want put is yours nobody make nobody tell you about that and that and all of them something salt mackerel yeah and if you feel like you want to come more the juice put it too add the banana them you have to have something for dip up the banana so that's how we caribbean people eat that's how we do it so i'm gonna be making bananas wow these bananas are so soft as me touch them with the spoon you see them dad mm. they are breaking i knew they were soft wow every one of my touch family so slotted spoon you don't want the water off this banana into this plate drip off and all of that let's go finish this plating and come back and present breakfast is served family from my kitchen to yours from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your palate, and most of all to your stomach, it is Jamaican green boy bananas and salt mackerel. Please do enjoy. If you have never done this before, make sure when you do this, you add a slice or two of our dough bread with butter to this meal. You would never regret eating that way if you are a person that is into bread or do bread whatever bread you're into had a few slices of bread and butter when you use this bread and butter and you dip it and it takes <clears throat> of that vinaigrette and that salt mackerel you would be surprised it would take this dish to a whole different level once more from my kitchen to yours please do enjoy if you have liked this video remember to make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up make sure you're subscribed to the jamaican cooking journey family go back they have got over 700 and stuff videos on this cooking channel those who are new here go run some marathon and watch some of those old videos comment on them remember to make sure you're watching my videos in the to the end make sure you leave comments that are principled and decent no anki panky you know what will happen if the anki panky starts and all of that let us continue to be loving on this cooking channel we are a family here that is why it is called the jamaican cooking journey we have a family channel that is called the jamaican cooking journey family we have got the jamaican debbie deb strain we have got the jamaican mukbang in vlog all one big jamaican happy family if you're new here and you have not yet subscribed we're going to leave the link and all of that in the description also if you want to get on to us for not anki panky then you can get on to us thanks for the love thanks for the support and once more please make you some of this breakfast jamaican ha, jamaican cooked green bananas and salt mackerel